The purpose of this tutorial is to show how to do a linear regression in Microsoft Excel. And I'm using uh, Excel 2010. Um, different versions will have slightly different ways to do this, but uh, this is the 2010 version. So the uh, first of all, you need some data. So um, I'm going to uh, just copy, or actually not copy, just highlight the data. So we need to have it highlighted. And to draw this graph, now I already have a graph drawn, I could go to Insert and scatter plot, and this is the one that I want. So that's what I started with. Now, if you uh, if you want to, I can get rid of this. And the purpose of this tutorial isn't to show it how to do uh, things like adding axes and stuff like that, but uh, it's really not uh, hard to do. If you just go to uh, chart axes, for example, horizontal below, then it just came up with a little. Uh, so that's where you could type in the height and you can put the uh, weight on this side and uh, uh, there's the chart title as well so let's leave that so we have our let's so let's say we have our nicely made uh, chart here and so and then you need to have the chart highlighted so if the chart isn't highlighted you don't have something called well I'll show you it's called chart tools up here so that disappears if the chart isn't highlighted so and of course you've got all these different um, uh, menus here the one that you want is layout and trend line so if I click on the down arrow now if I click on linear trend line it puts the trend line there I'm gonna do a control Z and undo that because uh, I want to do more than just add the line so if you click on the down arrow and go to more trend line options and so notice that actually as soon as I did that the trend line came back uh, you actually have more than just linear regressions you can do there's exponential logarithmic polynomial etc now I want to display the equation on the chart so the equation just came up here and I'm also going to do the R squared value and I'll close and so we'll move this down a little bit so that's the uh, regression equation right there y which is the weight y equals 5.2001x x being the height in inches uh, minus 177.77 and the r squared value is 0.4655 not a really good fit um, we would want that r squared value to be closer to one but um, the purpose of this is just to show how to do a linear regression not talk about how good or non-linear that data might be so that's how you use Microsoft Excel to perform a linear regression and there's the equation and there's the R squared value and of course that's how you draw the line as well and that's the end of the tutorial